In a penguin city of hundreds of thousands of birds, all seemingly exactly alike, it's hard to stand out from the crowd. But some individual penguins are unique. There are a couple penguins that are very distinctive. In the 300,000 that I know, and there's one that we call Blondie. <laughs> it's a blonde penguin. He is white in the front and blonde on the back. And his uh, blonde feathers get blonder and blonder as the season progresses. I think the, the UV radiation kind of bleaches him out. And he's always um, displaying on his nest, kind of proclaiming his territory, and he never has a mate. I think that maybe he looks a little bit too strange for the other penguins. He's been trying to have a nest there for years. Well, he has had a nest, he just hasn't had a mate or eggs or chicks. They're not quite convinced. <laughs> So that behavior is, the camera is disturbing me behavior. This penguin, Blondie, is a very unusual uh, penguin because he's showing us a genetic mutation that only occurs about one in a hundred thousand or maybe one and a half a million penguins. And this is one of the strangest things I've ever seen. That blonde penguin, Blondie, somehow finds the only albino chick and albinos are even rarer than blonde penguins. And he comes over and pays him a visit. And I have no idea how he found him because this is nowhere near Blondie's home territory. He was just out for a stroll or something. This is the only time I've ever seen Blondie away from his territory. There's also one all black penguin, which is amazing when we when we first saw that one, we were, couldn't believe it. In, in all animals, the genes sometimes do random things. So what we're seeing is an expression of what's called a gene mutation, where the genes are recombined in some unusual way. And that kind of random change in genes is part of how evolution works. It's an amazing thing to be able to work in an environment where there are so many penguins that you actually see these exceedingly rare genetic variations. <laughs>